There is nothing like what we saw last night in any sport. Like, that was 25 minutes of a last possession in basketball, right? Like, you can, I love basketball. You love basketball. There's nothing like that in basketball. An overtime frame, not every basket can end it. And even in your sudden eliminations or sudden deaths, your golden goals, if you're looking at soccer, a shootout, maybe you get to four times, if you're lucky, where the game will lay in the balance of one shot. Every rush, the game lays in the, a shootout, perhaps in football. You know half the time you're going to get a chance to respond, right? Like there's nothing maybe, like maybe, game seven overtime in hockey. Maybe an, there, maybe an NFL overtime playoff game. Maybe. But that's but not, those are pretty rare, right? Like you don't see I guess you could a genuine score every NFL play, game. but even now you get the chance I'm just, to respond. I'm just saying what's close. That to me, that never the goes NFL 25 would, minutes of gameplay. It could, though. It could. And the playoffs, yeah. In the playoffs, yeah. it could. I'm just saying in January. Yeah. You ha- that's it never the rare, does. Never does. But it, it, but it could. Legally, it could. <laughs> yeah, okay. Legal, but you're right. Last night is rare. Things like that are special to hockey. Things things like that are what keep you involved. Listen, I don't, re- I don't have a horse in the race, man. Mm-hmm. And I was on the edge of my couch like everybody else. And it was phenomenal. And you just found a tweet, and I could tell you enjoy it <laughs> I'm thoroughly. Just, I'm just tagging stuff for later. Okay, Can you let I, me do that? I'll continue the point. If anyone wonders why I'm looking at my computer, this is what I'm doing. I'm tagging stuff for later. But once in a while, you hit on one. And, Thank and then, you, Kramer. And then he makes he makes the face, <laughs> and I could tell someone just hit a home run at him. Right, now Sid. I can't just leave it. All right, go on. Sid drinking with bowel issues. Finally, someone gets it. If you're going to battle, make the challenge real. Hashtag stomach tornado. Let's get hashtag stomach tornado trending on this uh, non-holiday uh, <laughs> no, weekend. Let's get here. back okay. to the game seven. It was it, you're, double o- overtime. other than the NFL. There's no, there's nothing like we <laughs> no, saw last night. No, no, there's, even, there's no, nothing. even the NFL. There's nothing like well, that. It, it might happen no. in the NFL in January. It might. No, it might. could could potentially. It could. But when's the last? Is it's there, been a while. It's been a while. You're right. Can you give me 25 minutes of gameplay ever in, the in NFL? an NFL overtime? Uh oh, you mean like flow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're no, saying. No, like gameplay. Yeah, yeah flow. Flow. And and you Flow. know when the guy hands it off, eight times out of ten, that guy will be tackled. Correct. He's not going the distance. Every time there's a rush, there could be a goal that like could end it. Like end-to-end stuff, and you're like, it's going to happen here? Oh, it's going to happen here? We'll let them it's decide. Happen you, here? you guys can decide whether or not there's anything like it in sports. What's yeah. the closest thing to a Game 7 overtime where every rush could end the game, and now you're into 25 minutes of gameplay, and that's not even close to the longest ever? Yeah. It's a valid point. You don't see that in any other sport, and last night was special, and you saw it on CBC and Sportsnet and nowhere else. Uh, Timmy, let me, let me throw this one at you. You get paid when you do that? What? Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Timmy, uh, there were so many things that went on in that hockey game last night. Yeah. All right? And we're going to try over the next uh, 20 minutes here to, to go through as much as we can. But there were so many things that kind of that go under the radar aside from the big stuff. I want to take a moment now. Yeah. And I want to I want to put this out to you because I think we're on the same wavelength. Yeah, we will. We both came in today, and the producers asked us one thing, and they always do it before the show yeah. because we try and cover things that maybe other people haven't covered or won't cover. And they both looked at us and they said, "All right, they we answered the same way." But is there anything that nobody's talking about that you guys think was pretty big? And both of us answered the same way. Um, we know the Penguins obviously won the game. We know uh, Chris Kunitz is hilariously old, and he's a winner, and he got two big goals, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, first what, what, what makes hockey great, to kind of lend to what you just said, is in, in, in the blink of an eye last night, it could have changed, and Victor Stahlberg could have won the game seconds before it went the other way. Literally seconds. Mm. Connor Sheary made one of the dumbest passes I have seen this postseason. Wait for it. There's Stahlberg. And almost. Now, seconds later, this game ends. Crosby, Kunitz, everyone goes home. But again, just, just keep in mind how close this was. If this bounce goes another way, one other way, Stahlberg. Two hands on the stick. Gone. If it's two hands on the stick, Stahlberg is gone. Watch Shiri. He starts because he's like, oh, dear God. He knows what's about to happen. He could be going the other way. How that doesn't end up as a breakaway the other way is the luckiest moment, dare I say, of Pittsburgh's entire postseason. I have to call them a lucky team, but as you saw, 
Uh, fates can change very quickly in the game of hockey. And you know Victor Stahlberg last night was thinking of that. You know Connor Sherry was thinking of that yep. last night. Yep. And I thought that was insane how close it was to just whoop. Going See, the other but that, way, but that's how slim the margins are. Yes, in a, like the context of me talking about, I'm glad you're drinking water this time. Uh, <laughs> the context of me talking about nothing else is like that. Like at that moment, you know and I know. Oh my God, he almost went the other way on yeah. a breakaway, and oh my God, it's now in the back of the senator's net. Yeah, it like was. That's just, how slim the margins that's are. That's exactly it. And I just, it was in that pass was ridiculous on every level. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what Connor Sherry was thinking. I don't know what kind of player Connor Sherry is. I know he got a lot of time with Crosby at one point this season, yeah. and then all of a sudden he was a fourth liner. I think there's a reason he might be a fourth liner. Anyway. Uh, I just thought that was crazy last night. And quite frankly, I don't think enough people brought it up. So is the fact that Chris Kunitz, who hadn't scored in 35 games, is the guy who has two goals and an assist. Why would you bring him up? We're talking about X factors. <laughs> who is going to throw out Chris Kunitz, who hasn't scored in the playoffs to get two of them at 37 years old, the oldest player uh, in NHL history to go score a Game 7 OT winner?